Hello everyone and welcome back to another Two Cents Plus video. Today is going to be somewhat of a tutorial uh, to help you out in Arc Genesis. Now, Arc Genesis is, um, it ain't the greatest thing ever. It, it has some some serious issues that definitely need to address and pr probably will be uh, addressed in the future as, uh, you know, the different chapters of this uh, little saga goes on here. Apparently it has a story and all that good stuff. We won't really get into that too much right now. Uh, my objective in this video is to make life easier for you. Now, there are these hexagons that you can get uh, that allows you to purchase things from your new companion uh, called Helena. And uh, we're gonna get you as close to 10,000 as we can. Now with this guide, all the, the hexagon or the uh, the glitches that I'm gonna show you that uh, give you free hexagons, um, you like I said, you can get up to a potential 10,000 starting off at the very beginning without really doing anything else. Uh, and that'll give you a nice hefty amount of points that you can work with. You can buy all kinds of resources and stuff directly from Helena. And uh, it should get you in a much better position than trying to, you know, build up the way you normally do uh, when you play Ark. So, if you follow this as closely as you possibly can, you can get up to 10,000. But I'm not making any promises because the spawn sometimes really sucks. And you can get really lucky and literally just spawn inside of a dino's mouth while he is chewing and die instantly before you even see yourself appear. Which once again is a serious issue but you know you only could do so much all right so your first order of business when you start a new game right after you create a new character is pick the ocean biome uh, the reason you want to do that is because it'll guarantee that you'll start off in a place where you won't be instantly attacked the moment you appear um, and it's pretty much the safest place to be at this point uh, don't be fooled by bog it says it's easy but they're lying uh, <laughs> So spawn in the ocean biome, and then as soon as you get there, uh, if they don't spawn you at ocean biome east, where the glitch is, just teleport to ocean biome east, and there'll be a glitch right next to you. Go ahead and grab that glitch, and then get ready to move on to the next one. The next area you're going to head to is going to be in the bog. It's in the, either at the west or southwest spawn point. These both share the same spawn for some reason. Uh, there's a rant about that that I have that I won't do right now but um, yes either one of those south or southwest will spawn you in the same spot and uh, what you do once you get there in the bog is look for a giant metal structure uh, it's a really huge structure usually when you spawn in uh, depending on the direction that they have you facing it'll be to your left uh, if you look, um, like as soon as you spawn, look to your immediate left, you'll see it behind the trees, this big towering metal structure. Go around the right side of said structure and um, you'll see this uh, series of waterfalls and stuff. There'll be a glitch right on the edge of the cliff by the big circular waterfall and you can grab that next glitch and then prep to move on to the next one. The next area you want to go to is also inside of the bog you're going to go to the northeast spawn. Now, once you get there in the northeast spawn, you'll see a bunch of giant kind of pods uh, that are kind of glowing or whatever. These are where the um, kind of like the bug swarm nests and stuff are. There's typically a lot of raptors and capras and stuff in the area, so be very careful when heading over there. But uh, as soon as you teleport into the area, um, just give it a quick scan, a 360 scan around, look around, and you'll see like the giant pod in the distance. You want to head directly towards that, and uh, if you keep heading towards it, you will inevitably see the glitch. Be very careful once again. Like I said, there are dinos nearby that can easily kill you and will if they spot you. But as long as you get the glitch, it doesn't matter if you die. Like, dying is not an issue at all here. You don't lose any hexagons that you've gathered if you die. So as long as you get the glitch, it doesn't matter if you die. And if you do die without getting the glitch, just go back. Alright, you are officially done with the bog and the glitches that you can get there. Or at least the ones that you can get early. So you want to head to the volcanic area. We're going to go to the um, southeast first. There are two glitches here. Uh, that you can, well, maybe not. I wouldn't try to get them both at the same time. After you get the first glitch, maybe teleport back to the ocean, come back and try to get the second one. Or if um, 
for whatever reason you're not doing this right off the bat like right up front when you first start the game if you decided to do it later but you've come here well equipped you should be able to get both of them in one go so just uh, follow the route that I'm taking here on screen and uh, you should be just fine a little side note though, after checking out this specific part of the video again, I do realize that there might have been a slightly more optimal way to get back to the second one. Um, I did end up going through like some water instead of staying on the land or anything like that. There's no definitive specific path you have to take. Just get over there, you know? It's not that big a deal. Just be careful and watch for things that want to kill you. This next one is pretty easy and fairly straightforward also. We're going to go north now in the uh, volcanic zone and um, as soon as you land, uh, once again I believe if you look over to your left there will be a little, um, little pathway you can take, a little opening. Uh, as soon as you run that way and get around that initial corner you'll see the glitch on the left hand side. Uh, just run right after it. There might be some thornies, possibly some basilisks over there. Uh, like I said, just be careful. If you die, then just come back. If you continue to die and, and it's getting frustrated, feel free to move on to the next one. Like I said, I'm going to get you guys as close to 10,000 as possible. Some people might be able to get it, some people might not, depending on the RNG and where the monsters are, so just keep that in mind. Moving on along here, the next area we're going to go to in the uh, volcanic zone is the northeast now this area has two glitches also uh, but it can also be pretty dangerous um, RNG is really gonna decide whether or not you're gonna be able to get the glitches here but there is one literally right next to you you do a quick turn and it is like right there um, and you can actually see the other one that you're gonna be going for in the distance there it's a bit of a hike and like I said RNG is going to determine whether or not you can make it to it but you should be fine um, like I said, um, just make sure you're picking the proper route and, uh, depending on where the zom uh, zombies, Jesus Christ, I play too many zombie games, uh, depending on where the, uh, dinos or monsters are, um, you're gonna either stick to the far right or stick to the kind of, uh, the kind of left and hug that wall on the other side depending because um, sometimes they're T-Rexes here, sometimes they're Allosauruses, sometimes they're Scorpions, sometimes they're uh, Thornies, it really really just depends. Uh, you saw I just passed an RG there but you never know so just be careful uh, book it up here to this next one and bam you got both of those 
Uh, and if something happens to kill you while you're up here, like I said, it's not the end of the world. You got what you needed. Our last and final spot we're going to be visiting is going to be the south and southwest part of uh, the volcanic zone. Um, the first one is going to be down the hill and to your left. You'll see it off into the distance. A uh, little bit of a run. And um, if you want to, you can teleport right back to this spot and head to the one that's going to be down and to the right side. As I said, you'll see both of the paths followed in this video. Just follow along and you should be able to get there no problem. This place is slightly less dangerous than the last, but, well, not the last, but the, uh, the last one that had two, but, you know, it, it's completely random. Any dinos could be here at any given moment, so just, uh, just be mindful of that, and, uh, once you get these two, that will bring you to your 10,000 total, assuming you got all the other ones. Like I said, you don't necessarily need 10,000, these are just all the zones that I know can get you as close to 10,000 as possible. So um, feel free to use it, feel free not to, feel free to pick one of these zones specifically that you think will be most useful or two or three of them, who knows. Uh, whatever you feel you need to start off your adventure here and to make things easier for you, uh, go for it. And if it takes a little bit of time, don't feel discouraged because once you have those hexagons, they are yours. They're not going anywhere, they don't expire, you can spend them whenever you want. So, you know, do your thing. It'll be fine. Now, there are other locations. There are other places in which you can spawn to get even more hexagons than this. But, uh, it's probably best to come back when you're prepared for it, uh, for those areas. And um, that'll be a maybe a separate video. If you guys are very receptive to this, you actually like the content uh, that's being put out here, uh, we can talk about, you know... Uh, those other areas also if you guys want to know the best spot to spawn in the so-called easy bog which is absolutely not easy then uh, make sure you like and subscribe like this video subscribe to the channel um, and uh, yeah we'll get that video out as soon as possible uh, because it is very important it's very helpful to have a good secure location and I think I may have found the best spot in the bog so if you're not subscribed absolutely do so uh, and definitely hit that bell notification so you are notified when that video video comes up otherwise like I said check out these uh, these glitches here uh, let me know how many you decided to get down in the comment section below and I will see you guys hopefully on the next one